top of the morning, D-Laddies. My name's e Man Buck. Welcome back to the Homeowner Series. So we got a video today for you, the guys, that should have been done on Memorial Day, but as you guys have already heard, or if you have not, I got sick last week, so <clears throat> still getting over that. But we have a, not necessarily straight up trade, but I have a friend of mine that has been looking to get a fifth wheel camper. He wants my Summit. He really likes it. And, uh, well... I have a cover over her right now because it should be tan. But we're going to go trade in our Summit for his 2016 E450 Fleetwood. Or if anybody knows what that is, it's the rental. The, the, the very camper that got me my name. I personally do not like the size of this thing. It's just too big anymore and I want to be able to store more than just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can pet the dog. I had no idea you could do that. Oh. Okay, I had no idea that was a thing. Okay, uh, but yeah, I want to trade this for a little bit smaller, but just a something to just take out to the campsite. Like, I don't really ever go anywhere when I'm out there, and I actually picked up a new job, which is going to be a part of the end of this episode. And we'll get to that once we get to it. Well, we need to hook up to the summit, get this thing taken down, go talk to uh, Kyle, get all this stuff traded up, traded out flip the titles and we'll be ready to set to go for the weekend because I gotta also head out to Wyoming to a little park out there I'll explain once we get there but it's gonna be a little bit of a jam-packed uh, morning because I've been packing and so on and so forth long story short I'm gonna be out there for a couple weeks so let's get right to it like I was saying as much as I actually love this camper it's just a little too big for what I want to be able to do Make sure we get this thing folded up so we can uh, take this down. This He lives just off the interstate outside of town. Helps me hit the right button. So we'll get our summit folded up. Like I said, it's supposed to be tan, but uh, I kind of haven't updated this yet since I've, like, tweaked the color palette on it. So I kind of have to go back and change it to tan. <laughs> we'll take care of that here in just a minute, but we're going to get on the road. That way we can make sure that we get this thing delivered on time. So we'll catch you guys in just a minute. Now that's a little bit better. It's not the exact same color scheme, but that's also for uh, very certain reasons. And, uh, but we're going to get up here on the road. He's not too far out. He's uh, just off the interstate. Technically, I could take the interstate route to get to him, but uh, there's also a way I can get to him just off this road up here. So about a three minute ish drive I got been saying I, I like the summit but it's just a little it, I don't necessarily need that much to do what I need to do so we're gonna uh, just downsize a little bit to a class C RV which like I've said oh that's not it that's a that's a walking path know your directions I swear I've driven this path before swing it wide there so this is Kyle's little place. He's already got a truck that's able to tow the uh, tow the trailer. So I'll just kind of like... I should have went in the other way probably. Because I don't think this goes back anywhere. I'm not trying to take out his mailbox. But yeah, that's his ram that he uses. That He's got a 40 foot BJ on it. So it should be able to take care of it. This shouldn't be... This should be a fairly straightforward process though. Because you know, we've already kind of worked out a deal of what we wanted to do for all this stuff. But... Uh, let's go in and check out the little jamboree because I've actually seen this thing in action out at the campsite a time or two. That's a nice rant. So our trade-off's pretty much going to be, uh, I'll, he'll get my summit, I'll get his jamboree. Of which there she be. You guys know this camper. You guys know this camper very well. I had this in Homeowner Series in 19. Well, now it's back. I'm trading out the summit for this. We're pretty much doing almost a a, a trade, like a wash. But uh, he's going to... I told him I'd do a little bit of a landscape projects for him or help him out with some yard work come uh, this summer since he's still trying to figure out what he wants to do. He's trying to maybe get this 
just paved instead of one of these two paths just paved all the way towards uh, the end of the driveway as well as maybe just some bush work so we're kind of going to even out to even out what we're going to do for this but I really wanted to just kind of downsize to a little bit smaller uh, class C now I know this has got a lot of sway to it but this at least helps out Ooh, he's got a first gen viper but this will at least be nice to be able to get out to the campsite do just some basic just basic camping and plus, I can bring out my truck with me, too, still, so it's like I can still drive around. So we'll get everything on the hook, moved around, and then we should be ready to go. So, so long, Summit. I'm glad I do not have to figure out how to store you all the time because of uh, storage wars. But uh, we, have, we are going to get on the road. We still have to go back to the house and grab just a few things uh, to be ready for the trip to Wyoming. I have to get on the road, though, because I do have a job to do out there. So I told uh, Kyle to bring my truck back sometime on the sometime today, if he could, because, I mean, we've have, I'm good enough with him driving my truck. Well, like I said, we're going to head back to the house quick, grab a few things, then we're going to get on the interstate and head up to Wyoming. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. This should be a rather fun trip. We're just now making it out onto the gravel road here in the great Elk Mountain, Wyoming. We're actually going to be the job of campground host. So we got a little bit of work ahead of us uh, by Nebraska's Games and Parks rules. This is an occupation that you must dedicate at least two weeks of your time to answer questions, maintain your campground. Uh, we're going to be at the as we like to call it, the elm, <clears throat> elm grounds, as there's a lot of elms back in this little area. But this is our little entrance. Campground host is gonna be our first little spot right here with the hut is what I was told. I haven't been out here to Wyoming, so I'm not 100% sure how this one's going to work. I know I have to go pick up a golf cart over there because I gotta be able to like go up and down and check tags and Make sure everyone's not, you know, overstaying their welcome. Or if they're just confused and they can't figure out how to do it. Holy mackerel, it is packed in here. So we're going to get our RV parked up here. Then we're going to have to head up to uh, that little shop slash information center and get the rest of our stuff. So this should be pretty nice. I've always liked the camping aspect of things. Get our RV placed up so we can uh, get everything folded out. Awnings out, extensions, we are set. Now, it does kind of suck that uh, I don't really have a grill. I just realized that. So now I can't cook food. But uh, primarily, <clears throat> besides answering all the questions and everything else, I need to get a trash can out here. That's for certain. Uh, but I got to close the gates at 930 that goes down to the boat ramp slash beach. I got to make sure all these... Uh, trash cans stay empty and everything else just pretty much oh wow almost had my I thought I had my camper out here but then the uh, day 30 said otherwise a lot of deer out here but yeah we just kind of got to maintain campground just have some fun I mean it's not gonna be I didn't bring a boat out here so unless one of my friends shows up out here then I'm kind of just stuck doing the job but I believe that is my golf cart we're gonna go inside talk to a few people and we're gonna make sure of some things Yes, sir, that is correct. So we also uh, have the ability to, if people need us to take mailbox up here, this is a mailbox, postcards, which is beautiful around here. I mean, look at some of these. Just some pretty good shots. But yeah, this is our little golf cart. It's a little club car. Let's use this to kind of get around the campsite a little bit easier. Seems to be electric. This is kind of fun. But, I mean, the first thing I believe I'll do is I'll probably run down and check tags on those posts because uh, we also have to make sure, with it being Memorial Day weekend, last week, there might be some people trying to overstay their welcome. I'm like the I'm newbie on the blocks. So I don't know if they'll actually, like, listen to me, but just kind of pace down here and see what it looks like. That's a new camper. That's a little different. A little older, but it's still good. Oh, an Airstream. Tin can thing. Nice. So yeah, it's just kind of a little pathway, and then it goes to a roundabout back here. I have been out here a few times, but I've never been campground post. Must be a path leading back into there. 
Let's just check these tags, make sure these guys are all still valid on their times. He is supposed to be out of here on the 3rd, and it is the 1st. So, yep, these guys are all good. Check our next tag here. Okay, he's supposed to leave today, so I'll have to keep an eye on that voltage. Oh, not hit the avalanche. See how you're doing. He's good to go. He's actually out here for a week. Not surprising. He's good to go. That's a big that's a big setup. He's good to go. I like this little outback. Yep, he's good to go. And let's check the K30 imposter. Okay, he needs to renew his, so we'll have to talk to him. We'll just park this up right here and we go down. Actually, let's go explore down at the lake a little bit. I haven't seen the Bighorn Lake since they've redid all this out here. So this is this is the newer campground. There's a few of them on the other side of the lake as well, but this is one of the newest ones, and I I kind of like wanted to try and get out here as best I could, but I couldn't get out here during Memorial Weekend, so it was packed. I mean, it already is packed, but just itself, it's all filled up here, so that's a nice little drive down to here. Ooh, I like the holy cow. Okay, first steps of doozy coming off the side of that. Oh, someone's got a Harley truck. Kind of surprising there's only one boat out on the lake, but it is a weekday, so there might be a lot more people out here during the weekends. Let's check the bathrooms, too, because we we'll have to make sure we don't have to clean those yet. Phew! You know, that's actually really clean. Nice. <clears throat> the water just looked beautiful. Look at the rocks over there. Ah, good to be back out in Mother Nature. Well, let's get back up to our campsite. And we'll catch you guys a little later tonight. I really should have got, like, a pedal bike to come out here with. Then I could have gotten my exercise. But, uh, break time. For any of you that are going, where on earth did this come from? If any of you guys remember the Denali camper from FS15, this is actually the exact same camper. I, uh, kind of took it apart and gave it a whole new outside look. Finding the paint scheme for this thing was, um, a task and a half, to say the least. You guys have already seen the Jayco, that's the big toy hauler patio mobile. 2008 Weekend Warrior, that's always been a fun one. I ended up finding that. It's definitely seen better days, but you know what? It's still a classic, and it still gets the job done. It doesn't have the outrigger post, because I never worked on that one. Airstream Camper, this is another one, I believe, from FS15. Just a very simplistic one. Added a few things. I like this. It actually works really well with the Avalanche. That's one thing. The voltage you guys already, uh, already know about. As well as the Summit. And I really like that paint scheme. That's a really nice looking Summit. I think it's courtesy of uh, McLean Modic. On his Patreon, I think. By this point, it should be. I don't know. But anyway, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Like I was saying, I was complaining about how I did not bring a bike, so I'm going to be very out of shape by the end of this. This is a very small campground. I have a project I'm in the works on, like, just for video-wise, that is absolutely massive. So, stay tuned, as I hope I'm going to be able to have that done and be ready for videos by the 4th of July. It's that big. Trust me, it is huge. But I think for right now, just for the fact that I'm still trying to work myself back up to begin doing a full video without, you know, wear and tear, so being from being sick, I think we'll let you guys go on this one. So thank you guys so much for checking this one out. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. 
If you guys want to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang, you guys already know who is in it. And I shall see you guys all in the next one. I haven't decided if that's going to be dealership or not, uh, but we'll see you guys on the next one. This is the Rental Man out.